Hello lovely people, how are you guys doing? What's up? Well, <laughs> in today's video, I want you to tell me which side do you like more? We're gonna do a little makeup experiment. Experimenting with makeup, yeah! Today we're putting to the test the transforming powers of makeup and let's see what happens. Can makeup make my eyes look bigger or can it make them look smaller? I've actually seen people do videos like that on TikTok and on Instagram. So let's see how powerful are the powers of makeup. Shall we? <laughs> First, I'm gonna take this brown eye pencil. These are so nice and creamy. I'm gonna start applying it all over my eyelid. Now this eye, this is the eye that is supposed to look smaller. Naturally, if you're using darker shades, that will make your eyes look smaller. Same with leggings. Whenever I wear white leggings, which I never do, my butt looks big. <laughs> but if I'm wearing dark ones, it looks a little bit more you know? Anyways, I don't know why I'm talking about leggings. What color leggings do you like wearing? Let me know down in the comments. I feel like I like the brown ones. I don't know why. They're kind of matching my eyes. Anyways, so I'm gonna take my little brush and I'm gonna start blending this out. Look how easily it just blends into the skin. You can also use your fingers to blend it out. Actually, it's easier to blend it with your finger. I'm gonna have all the products that I'm using listed down in the description box. But wow, look at that. So pretty. Cream eyeshadows are awesome, you guys. I don't know why more people are not using them. I had something on my eyelash. I'm adding a brown powder eyeshadow on top of this one just to lock it in place, make it last a little longer. Blend, 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 blend. Cool. Now, one of the things that I find to be really transforming for me, one of the things that really changes the way my eyes look is eyeliner. Guys, who invented this? Let's make them a statue or something. I don't know. We need somewhere to go and pay respect. So for my eyeliner today, I actually won't extend it into a wink. Just like this. My favorite part from my eyeliner is the wink. And we're skipping it today. This kind of makes me feel sad. Who invented winked eyeliner? The first recorded use of eyeliner suggests royals in ancient Egypt and Mesopotamia were lining their water lines as early as 400 BC. The more the makeup, the higher your status was. The more the makeup, the higher your status was. The more the makeup, the higher your status was. You were not. <laughs> you were not supposed to see my other hand. This was supposed to be an epic phone drop, you know, mic drop, phone drop, anyways. If I had a mic right now, I'd drop it. Let me say it once again so that we make sure that all of us heard it. The more the makeup, the higher your status was. So next time someone tells you that you're wearing too much makeup, just tell them it's a status thing, okay? They don't understand. I'm also going to tightline my waterline with some black pencil. I rarely do that. I don't like how it looks on me. Okay, nice, awesome. Curling the lashes. I always do that. Some mascara, but only on the upper lashes. Wow, I kind of like this. <laughs> so when you're done applying your mascara, just do this with your finger just once. And see all of these excess mascara my finger picked. I definitely didn't need all of these on my eyes. Moving on to the other eye. I still have some mascara on my finger. This coffee kicks me like... <laughs> I'm trying to cut off sugar from my coffee. I didn't realize that it was the sugar that made the coffee so delicious. Well, duh! I'm okay. I'm crying a little. I really, really like this eye. I need to be doing more makeup looks like this. However, my personal favorite kind of eye looks are the little more bright ones. I like using bright eyeshadows, colorful eyeshadows. Every time I get a chance to do something colorful, I'm definitely taking advantage of that opportunity, okay? So I'm gonna take some very nice bright eyeshadow. I can't really show you the palette that I'm using because I can't really pick it up. It's complicated. I'm might have dropped it a little, just a little, <laughs> but it was enough to cause some damage. But I took some of this eyeshadow over here and see how it brightens my eyelid. Really, really nice. I'm placing some of that brown eyeshadow in my crease and 
gently blending it upwards towards my brow. Taking a fluffier brush and really blending it out. Blend, 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 blend. I'm also taking some of that almost white eyeshadow and I'm gonna place it on my brow bone. This will create the illusion of more lifted eyebrow. Now, this is my favorite part. I curled and now I'm coating my lashes with some mascara. I'm doing my little trick. Boom. And obviously it's important to do this before your mascara dries out. So right after you apply it, you just with your finger and boom. Now you have mascara on your finger. <laughs> I feel like it can't be a full transformation without false lashes. I love false lashes. I'm not wearing them every day because it's so time consuming to put them on. But this is how my eye looks without false lashes. And this is how it looks with false lashes on. Check this out. Before, after, before, after, before, after. <laughs> Super, super cool. Yeah, falsies do really make a difference. And if you want to make your eyes look bigger, falsies, they will do that for you. So maybe you're thinking, Denny, Denny, Denny. <laughs> maybe you're thinking, Denny, this, you can see that the eye makeup is different, but when it comes to the size of my eyes, there's not that much of a difference. Like it's nothing groundbreaking we're doing so far. If that's what you're thinking, I know. I can see too. <laughs> but wait, 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 wait. Don't jump into conclusions that early. I know that we're probably towards the end of the video, but hold on, we're not done yet. All the magic, everything is in the lower lash line. So here's what we're gonna do. First, where's my eyeshadow palette? Found it. I'm gonna take some of that brown eyeshadow I also used in my crease. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to smudge it right here under my lower lashes. Oh, hold on, you can't see anything. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Here, my friends, I'm smudging it right under my lash. Ow! I poked my eye. <laughs> Ow. This is my good eye. <laughs> Remember my eye got infected for like three weeks? I was relying on this one. <laughs> yeah, this one is the good one. <laughs> Anyways, I'm smudging that eyeshadow under my lashes. And here is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take some of my eyeliner. This is a little bit of a voiceover because I can't talk and do that. I don't wanna stab myself in the eye with my eyeliner. So what I'm doing is I'm basically bringing some of that black eyeliner under my lower lashes. And I'm also connecting it with my wing over here. Nice. White eye pencil in my waterline. And again, I'm taking some of that eyeshadow that I also have on my eyelid and I'm gonna bring it in the inner part of my lower lash line. I'm really trying to get this inner corner of my eye to be as bright as possible. Now I have this eyeshadow palette over here by House Labs. I broke the shimmer. What's wrong with the shimmers? Why, why they're breaking so easily? Anyways, I'm gonna try to hold it very carefully. <laughs> I'm not used to holding things carefully, you guys know that. But I'm gonna get some of this white matte eyeshadow. And guys, this white matte eyeshadow, this is the brightest white matte eyeshadow that I own. I don't know how they did it, but it's like, woof, brightness. I really like using it in my inner corner, on my brow bone. See? That's what I'm talking about. White matte eyeshadows. I don't know why, but they sometimes tend to be not as pigmented as I want them to be. But this one is like, wow. So here comes the big question. <laughs> Hold on, I'm coming. <laughs> so let me know, which side is your favorite? Which side do you like more? This one? Or this one. If you like this side more, comment the number one. And if you like this side, comment the number two. So one or two. I'm sure that there, I'm sure that there will be comments like, I like three. <laughs> it's okay. You're allowed to comment stuff like that. Everything is allowed as long as you're kind. So be kind in the comments or I'm gonna block you. <laughs> does this eye makeup make my eye look smaller and does this makeup make my eye look bigger? I don't wanna affect what you guys think, but I asked Dimitri, my boyfriend, which is his favorite eye makeup and he said this one. He likes this one a little more. I personally like this one more. He said that the poses on this one were a little too long. My boyfriend said that. What? I'm just gonna pretend that I didn't hear that. I mean, he, he's not 
wrong. <laughs> these are very, very long lashes. They're almost touching my eyebrow. Look at that. Although these are super gorgeous looks, there is something missing. There's something missing, you guys. Something that I absolutely adore. Something that I add almost every time on my eyelids when I do my makeup. Those of you who watch my videos regularly, you know what I'm talking about. And you know that you can't see it on my eyelids. Can you guess what it is? If you know what I'm talking about, comment down below. Comment down below what it is and I'm gonna try to like as many comments as possible from those who guessed right. Deal? Deal. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please let me know down in the comments if you want me to do more of these. And we don't have to limit ourselves with eye makeup only. We can also do face makeup, lip colors and stuff. Oh, we can have so much fun with these kind of videos. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, give it a thumbs up. It's free. You can also subscribe to my channel if you're not already. That's also free. And you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I'm now on TikTok. So... Yay! <laughs> and thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you in my next one. Bye!